Don't get me up early in the morning, people. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not coherent. (laughs) Okay, one more news article, and this is actually about a different news article that was written. Um, ESPN reporting on the stadium events game had Pat Contry in it. Him basically going like, why the fuck does anybody want this game? <laughs> yeah. I completely agree. It's a bullshit game. It's dumb. It's terrible. It's not even programmed very well. But it's the most expensive Nintendo game for collecting. Yeah, it's the most expensive officially licensed NTSC Nintendo game. And the story behind it is that when... This uh, shit's just getting out of hand, though. When Bandai released the game, they released it with their... Fitness Fun Pad, I think it was called, the which is essentially is the horrible. Nintendo Power Pad. Mm-hmm. So Nintendo is like, pad. no, we're buying the rights to this. So Bandai sold the rights, and it got re-released as. Uh, First of all, Nintendo's like, no. Yeah, that's well. Back in the late eighties, you don't get that. Nintendo it's could do now. that. Nintendo yeah, had so just, much power. They were the emperor of game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had all the power. Yeah, what were they gonna do? Someone made something. They can't just be like, "It's ours and not get." Su-. Like, but I was they, like, "No, I'm but gonna they made you. it for their console." Oh, Nintendo made it. I no, you- no, Bandai made it for the Nintendo. Yeah, but they had the license. This is like Konami. Nintendo, Nintendo, don't be Konami. So Nintendo, come on. Well, that was back then. <laughs> See, I could, go, I could go on for hours about how Nintendo did sleazy business oh, I, back in the late I'm, '80s, I'm early aware. '90s. Yeah, just that they had to go S- from being a card game to. I mean, a card company to being a fucking video game company. You gotta steal, cheat, lie, yeah. kill some babies. I don't know. Nintendo yeah. needs to make that money. Yeah, just ask Sony. That, that didn't bite him in the ass. <laughs> so, the games got recalled yeah. and re-released under a different name. <clears throat> and the price on these has just skyrocketed in recent years. Uh, so game's stupid. Almost sealed copy that still had some of the shrink wrap on it, I think went for $25,000. Just an ounce. Just not to regret this whole thing. Um, loose copies <laughs> have been going anywhere between nine to twelve thousand dollars. Who's spending money on this copy. shit? Are you even doing anything with the it? The guy well, that they, built that fucking haunted house. The guy that the, they actually <laughs> included <laughs> some of the, these people game in the article. <laughs> There's a guy, an orthodontist from Indiana. He at one time. Owned, <laughs> I don't know why that's fucking hilarious. To me. <laughs> an orthodontist from Indiana. He has the most complete. <laughs> Uh, NES collection. He's got like everything boxed. You know what that gets you when you die? <laughs> Nothing. You should be spending time cleaning more teeth, saving his money for when he dies. Well, you don't clean teeth. What's the worth doing? They they fix they them. They, them. They, they do braces. And well, you stuff. should be fixing teeth. And they they charge you an ass load. So no well, yeah, because right. they're just, all trying to get stadium events. Because yeah. it's, <laughs> because it's for fucking aesthetics and not yeah. necessary. Yeah. Every so people. Other- are going to spend way more because, like, I need to look like Tom Cruise. Fix my teeth. But, yeah, so he, he actually... <laughs> the copy... <laughs> he, just, he just rebound right off of that. He's like, so, and you're done. All right. <laughs> this guy has bought three copies through the years. He bought... Fuck him. He bought uh, a loose copy. Money. He, he bought shoot a copy a with a manual. <laughs> and then he bought the $25,000 oh, $25, copy of it. Wait, wait, wait. Twenty five hundred or twenty five thousand. Thousand. Oh fuck the him. Person Three that, O's. The person that sold it to him. I'm disgusted right now. Found it in a thrift store. Again. Bought it for eight duck. Eight dollars. Eight, eight ducks. ducks. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight <laughs> ducks. Fuck! I can get eight ducks right now. Let's go get a stage. Right events. there, man. They're just sitting there. I didn't know the they were worth that much. The woman that bought it bought it for eight dollars. <laughs> She took it up to a ducks. local game store who offered her, and this is, you know, local game stores are usually pretty pretty on much on the up and up. He offered her everything in his cash register for it. <laughs> Still nowhere near what it was worth. So she was like, no, Yeah, I'm because good. I'm fairly confident most retail yeah, game stores are allowed to have, allowed to have like 50 bucks in the No, register. it's like $500 at the yeah. very most uh, that they can have cash on yeah. them. Because if they're buying clothes edition, they're probably going to have now, a lot of money. Now, did he offer everything in the register... And for himself? <laughs> no, no, he was the owner. He was the owner of the game store. Oh, so it, it is it his a, money. It was just right, a local right. one and not like yeah. a corporate one? That's what I said. Yeah. I'm just picturing like then a game He probably has less than his drawer, too. Yeah. I'm probably just, like 200 250 Yeah. Somewhere I'm there. just picturing like wow. a GameStop employee. He should bring it in like, I like to trade. This is like, I'll give you everything that's in this register for that <laughs> game right now. <laughs> then he quits immediately. <laughs> Bye. So anyway, that... Hey, that, Jim. Fuck you! <laughs> that twenty-five thousand dollars. Throw some and clean this motherfucker. <laughs> actually, went towards a down payment on a house. They were living in a trailer that had a lot of issues. Like it was, if the, the floor was bad. So it's good news for them. So yeah, it was yeah. great for them. So this guy's so like, here, I'm gonna buy you like a quarter of a house. 
And Fuck this guy. Yeah. You should have bought him a whole house. So then this guy. Oh, yeah. A haunted house. There was yeah. a guy, there was a filmmaker. From ABBA. From <laughs> Canada. Ah, bruh. Who did a movie? It's it's on. I know it's on Amazon Prime and it's a few other places. It's called the Nintendo Quest. Yeah. Where he went out and wanted to acquire every Nintendo game released in the U.S. licensed uh, without using the internet. Which, first of all, he's he's lying to himself because the only way he was communicating with these people was through the fucking internet. So right there is a problem. So he had to kill some people too. I'm assuming. <laughs> but he actually purchased. It's not that kill Will. Purchased the the cart only copy from the orthodontist and it's actually in the movie like you can see him do it and it's just like this really great scene and I'm just like oh, yeah so what he dropped like eight thousand dollars on this or something like that this like, guy again this obsession people have is just sickening to me I get it you gotta have something to do with your time on this fucking I can earth, do shit done with eight grand than buy a fucking right. shitty game so you have like, a- it's like you're spending all this money for what you're never gonna play the game and you're never gonna sell it again and it's just going to sit there and turn the fucking dust while you ride yeah, the ground. Yeah. So then we have Tim Atwood. Now, Tim Atwood, some people do know that name. He Ooh, is the collecting hermit. This guy used to work for a construction company. Is he a brown that were Don't ignore me. That would do <laughs> demolition. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting my shit out. On, uh, <laughs> if I don't keep this going, it'll never end. No. Uh, <laughs> His name's Radagast. So he was on a construction crew, and they were told when they were demolishing this department store, I think it was in Montgomery Wards, uh-huh, to take store. everything that was there and just trash it. So he so goes, the GameStop policy there. Yeah. yeah. So we can't sell these. Throw them in the so trash. So in the one section were all these pallets of <clears throat> Nintendo games, cases of them, including, from what he says, three. Cases of six sealed cartridges of stadium events that this guy has. He took them. He decided not to throw them away. Well, no shit. He has them in storage. Well, this was back in the early 90s. He had no idea what he had. He just knew it was something. I don't give a shit. You, it's, it's sealed in yeah. packages. And people like people collect yeah. this dumb shit. People still collect fucking Beanie Babies. So for so years. So he stole $120,000, essentially. Oh, not just stadium events. He's got sealed <laughs> cases of Turtles Tournament Fighters. He's got sealed cases. Wait, that's of, worth money now? Oh, yeah. The NES version is. Is it just every shitty game in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's got Logic. sealed cases. The stuff that he has sealed cases of is insane. So he has this all in an undisclosed yes, storage all. facility. Like a oh, rat. So the one from fucking... Like rat. Yeah. <laughs> the top men, you know? Top men. So man. he has started yeah, sure selling them off. He actually came out online. He posted a picture of what he has, like just kind of a blurry picture. Look and at on me, some I'm of a, the boxes, you can see what they are. Well, he didn't want to do it. His friend convinced him to do it because he wanted to start selling and some of them off. that's the fault of man is listening to your fucking friends. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, why would you ever listen to your friend unless he thinks he's going to get something out of this? Yeah, he's trying to steal the yeah. shit that he stole from the store. He's like, I gotta, I gotta track down where this, uh, this location is so I can steal these. Games. Honestly, well, if you came to me, you'd be like, yeah, this store when I was going out of business, and I just found this shit, so I fucking stole it, and be like, yeah, bro, take some photos of that shit, <laughs> put it all over the internet. Well, it's not stealing if they're throwing it. Make away. Make sure you hashtag the store you stole it from. <laughs> it, like uh, my mom. Well, what's the statute of limitations? Because this mom was twenty six years all the time. Like statute of years limitations. <laughs> <laughs> she works at the uh, <laughs> Salvation <laughs> Army on Lincoln Highway. I see Will's face. The stuff they get in from donations, it yeah. is illegal to steal from the stuff that they throw out, even though it's technically not theirs. Right. And it's technically trash. It is illegal to steal from them. Right. They're trash. You can get fined and arrested. So, it's still theft. Right. I don't know. But if it if I don't know. So if, if there's no way they can find out about it, go for it. Who cares? So he's rich. So now. the question isn't really whether he stole his stuff or not. The question is what is he gonna do he with did. it? So he's been selling these off. He, he does the way he does it when he sells them, he has them sign a non disclosure agreement. All this other stuff too. Balls off. And he still has a complete sealed case of this, which he will not show to anybody. He says that he's he doesn't want to do it because, you know, theft and all that. So, my question Fuck is, him. if he's he already would, made several hundred thousand dollars. Oh, more than that, probably. If he would release these all out into the market, it would kill the price. Not for him. So he's, he's like, money. so he's like holding this market hostage. Because <laughs> he's got all the stuff that he could just release 
and all those people that spent $25,000 for a copy that's not even sealed, mm -hmm. this is a sealed copy. I don't know about but you. Sealed case. But it sounds like a thief. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. It, it sounds like one day he's just going to be in line at the grocery store, and some kid's going to really piss him off, and he's going to be talking about some game that he probably has. He's like, yeah, man, I just got this game. I'm trying to sell it for X amount of money. He's like, you know what? I'm going to fuck your day up. Ruining this whole thing. You're going to have to sell that for ten bucks now. <laughs> Get away from me, cat. You're orange. I found a stadium event, sir. Yeah? Well, now it's fucking worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, kid. But the way, the way they, like, describe this guy in the article is pretty hilarious, because they talk about him, like, apparently he, he grows his own brand, his own variety of weed and stuff like that, and I'm like, what does this have anything to do? It's 2016, <laughs> man! We don't give a shit anymore. What the fuck does that have anything? First of all, why is this on ESPN.com? Because Again, they're because it's they 2016. have because they have the football not you been can't like, blame that on everything because <laughs> it's the truth man well, no, football's yes. not been interesting at all so e what's he, he no ESPN about that. now has the ML, uh, MLG thing on it now. yeah but they're not playing stadium events yeah exactly no but they're like hey everybody likes video games now so fuck it we'll talk about this old well, really this all comes about. from this is like the opposite of what happened to G four but it started with actual gaming things and it slowly yeah, turned isn't into cops. that really yeah. fucking funny G four turned into nothing but like shit that nobody wanted to watch. And then, like, you know, like, some, some sports stuff with that ninja shit. And now sports channels, like... Ninja Warrior is pretty good when it was the well, old stuff. Still, it turned that's more sports-oriented than yeah. what they were doing. And now the sports channels are like, Turning. let's talk about video games. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Let's get that Adam Sessler guy in here. We could put him behind a glass table Morgan with a Webb. suit and tie. Talk about game stats. <laughs> sure he'll like that. Sorry, continue. I, I feel like I just, like, shot your dog. No, you just look so no, sad I don't know right? where, I don't class, know where my train of thought was. I don't know if you I even finished what finish I was talking watching about his now. Netflix queue. Jesus. No, I just, I, I get really, I get really upset when I hear about what certain things are going for. Like, even when I find out I own it. Yeah. Somebody's like, you know, that's like a $300 game now, like Zombie Ninja Nation. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is, no, this is not that much money. Oh. It's a piece of shit. See, a lot of this, a lot of the, the current climate of these super high prices comes from a Yahoo article from several years ago. Where, like, stuff you had as a kid that's worth billions of dollars now. And, yeah. like, they're just like Furbies. Millions of dollars. I'm like, no, they fucking ain't worth millions of dollars. No, it's not even that old. You things know what are, I mean? Like, things are only worth yeah, as much it. as people are willing to pay for it. Yeah. And if you want to be the dumbass and be like, 2500 well, like, I talked you're about going to be out fucking hundred dollars. Lego collectors. Lego is one of the hottest collectibles right now, especially vintage Legos. Because there are some pieces that are specific to certain sets that were either super expensive. What are you or building with run. these specific fucking? See, again, it's not about what people are building. It's I about don't want anything that's useless. There are people that just have <laughs> that they just buy the build these units where they just put the pieces in bins and they just say they have them and they're happy with that. Yeah, and what do they do? Sit it on a shelf and look at it like a. <laughs> the difference being here is. <laughs> <laughs> the difference here being is, those are individual Legos. True. Yeah, I know. I can look at that and be like, "That's Godzilla. I really like that character." I came like, "Oh, that's that L-shaped Lego piece from 1972. That's my favorite Lego piece." Yeah, that's from the Moon Cruiser set. Oh, we're not even talking about like the characters. Just no. Like, yeah, oh just no, the we're talking pieces. like fucking elbow Specific noodle macaroni pieces. pieces of yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You like what the like fuck are you doing with Like headlights on certain vehicles uh -huh. and stuff like that. It's I would ridiculous. go to their fucking place and smash that shit. I mean, I hurt myself, but still. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't be barefoot. You'll step on it and yeah. you'll fucking die. And I know some of the stuff that always pops up on those articles is like Polly Pocket stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> they're not worth a goddamn thing. Uh, Nobody is like, not even the company that made Polly Pocket Mattel? wanted to make Polly Pocket. It's Was Mattel. it Mattel? Yeah. They did, yeah. They did Mighty, Mighty Max. Max and Polly Pocket. Yeah, because that was the first you get time. smashing together. That was the first time people got pissed off that you had something for one sex and not the other. So like, they've been doing that for fucking ever. Yeah, well, it was Polly. No, no, no. I'm saying like there was a big thing about that because they're like, oh, so you can make like Polly Pocket stuff for girls, but you can't have one for boys. And they're like, all right, fine, we'll make Mighty Max. It's not going to be as fun because we just had to think of it. It just like, wasn't uh, fun to begin with. They're like, here, you, got it's a show a, though. It's in a gray <laughs> thing. <laughs> what? Mighty Max had a show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what we said. said. It's like he just got a show. Oh, I thought she said we, like as he, in the women. 
He had a winner over here. I said, but he got a show, though. He had though. a show, and he had a really bad game, which is probably worth hundreds of dollars. It's it's probably not, but I get where you're coming from. But. <laughs> no, it probably is. Did you check recent <laughs> sales for it yet? Pricecharting.com? No. Uh, Mighty Max, five thousand dollars. No. It, I'm gonna. I'm gonna work on You just on need it. his head, though, from the second edition version of the third set in <laughs> 1993. In a world with too much disposable income, <laughs> comes a bunch of fucking shit. Well, that's how. That's just how everything is circular Remember? when it comes to like what's popular. Like even comic stuff right now is hottest than hotter than it's ever been. It's only gonna last so long. You know so what? Long. I'm disagreeing. Nostalgia. I'm getting out of it. I'm starting to see the market going. Well, I'm not talking about newer stuff. I'm talking about older stuff. No, I'm talking about like older. Like anywhere general. from eight to twelve dollars. This one asshole That's too selling much. it for a hundred. Sealed? <laughs> no. Sealed? He's an orthodontist. <laughs> it does come with the box, but it doesn't have all the pieces. Sealed. <laughs> this is the dumb show I'm talking about, man. Yeah. It's, it's 2016, and people just don't know what to do with themselves. But They're it's because spending money people, on stadium that's events. What it's, people found out that there's a lot of people with deep pockets that will pay anything to have their childhood back. Anything. Why would you want your childhood back? It's, it wasn't as good as you think, people. <laughs> that sounds like we're talking more than just money here there, Jamie. But um, I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, <I will. laughs> anything for my childhood. <laughs> but I just love the fact in this article... Go eat 20 Arby's. Venison sandwiches. They are. Done. Uh, they're glorifying this game, and then all of a sudden, there's this paragraph where Pat Contry comes in, and he goes, "It's a boring game. Nobody should be paying this for it. It shouldn't be more than three dollars." I'm just like hearing <laughs> it. I'm just hearing it like Pat's voice too. Like, what do you think about Steam Vest? Pat is like, uh, 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 the game's a uh, uh, terrible. Nobody should be buying this. He's like, well, in a certain NES guidebook, it got. One star. <laughs>